Good morning, fam, and happy Tuesday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another work week inspirational and encouraging message for today. On yesterday, we talked about how justice is a joy to the godly, but terrifies evildoers. The evildoers become terrified because the injustice that they have have been getting away with was like a security blanket for them. And once that security blanket was removed, their evil actions and intentions become exposed. Today, we're going to continue on with justice-focused messages and pick up in the book of Romans in chapter 12, verse number 19, where it reads, Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. As we continue to walk in light of injustice and call it for what it is, anger continues to run rapid across the country, reared in the form of physical outrage. And as I continued to watch the news, I became more unsettled and built up with anger myself. But as I began to pray for guidance, the Lord led me to the scripture. And I'll be honest. I didn't want to cover the scripture because of our current state system condition and the hemorrhaging in the streets that we're experiencing at this moment. So I bypassed covering the scripture during yesterday's message, even though I asked the Lord for guidance. And he brought me right back full circle with more intensity right back to the scripture. And I was spiritually reminded that he is not one that I would want to refuse and ignore guidance from. So I had to suck it up and be obedient. We're reminded in the scripture to never take revenge and how we should leave it up to the righteous anger of God and not our own. Keep in mind that some of the revenge from built up anger that we take is temporary and not sustainable. But the revenge of God makes an everlasting sustainable impact. Why not be part of the everlasting sustainable impact side? instead of the short-term temporary impact that is short-lived. So I encourage you today to allow this scripture to resonate in your spirit as you seek guidance from the Lord on how he wants you to deal with the anger and the frustration from this injustice in our system so you're able to formulate a response that is acceptable in the eyes of God. Allow him to continue to shape and mold you into the Christian that he called you to be. I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.